What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I want to talk about catch cans or breathers or catch cam breathers. There's so many different names people call them or go by and they all basically do the same thing. The, the initial theory is that your intake vacuum sucks oil vapor or potentially even blow by through either the crankcase or the front side of your vehicle. And why is that bad? Well, oil and blow by potentially go back in through your intake and gum and clog things up. Now, in the instance of going with forced induction, you are putting a lot of a lot more pressure onto the cylinder heads, which causes crankcase potential breathing problems and whatnot. And in that instance, you may or may not want to put a catch can or a breather on. Now, I don't know the whole details around this. I'll just, I mean, I, I get it. I get the the idea of a catch can. I get what it does. It basically, the catch can gives the opportunity to separate the oil and blow by um, to keep it out of the system. Now, in this instance, because of force induction, I understand there's cylinder pressure or a lot more of it and the crankcase basically needs to be vented or you're just gonna be starting to suck oil and crap through your intake, which is bad. So I may be off there, but you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to Cunningham Motorsports. I'm gonna talk with Ryan Cunningham so he can give me more details around this. Yes, I can read on the internet, but I wanna to go to someone who deals with this every day and understands the application. So let's go to Cunningham Motorsports, talk with Ryan himself and see if we can get more details around it. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you the new system I'm putting in the car. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and unbox it. We'll hop in the car and we'll go over to Cunningham. So let's check it out. Okay, first box. This comes from Summit Racing because, you know, if you can't get it at all the stores you shop at, you should uh, get it from the one store you love. Now in this instance, for Summit Racing, yes, this is the breather tank. Let me set this to the side. So in this instance, this is a breather tank. So you can see the filter itself, and it is uh, more so, which is one of the better ones on the market, but it's the breather tank. It does have the quick release valve for the bottom, so you can drain it, and a cool custom mounting bracket so you can mount it inside your car. Now, that's great, and we'll have potentially have Ryan give us more details on all aspects of this for this install. And again, this list was ordered based upon uh, details provided to me from Cunningham Motorsports. So, sorry, a little noisy. So they basically said, we can order it or you can order it. I decided to order it. So this is the tubing to route to the vehicle as needed. The fittings. and a secondary crankcase vent filter. So let's throw these in the car, head over to Cunningham, and see if Ryan can give us more details. You know, there's something back there rattling. I gotta figure out what that is. Can't really get a good angle to see out the back window with a GoPro on a gimbal. Kind of, no, 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 no.
Highway Patrol. There's a Highway Patrolman across in the next lane for me, a little further up, so that's why I'm holding the camera up. But yeah, I don't want to get a ticket, so I'm gonna set the camera down. there's any vehicle that can give me a bad day, it's that kind of vehicle. California Highway Patrol, CHP. Love them, love what they have to do, but man, they can make a car lover's day a nightmare. Looks like Leroy's here, Troy's here, Mike's here, the man, myth, and legend Ryan's here. Everybody's here. Got my box full of stuff. Maybe to match. Make any sense, man. I mean, you might have misunderstood. It's going to fit it. This is fine. This will be fine. I don't know why you told you get that. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe this is for the valve cover or something like that. Maybe. Okay, guys. So went down to Cunningham Motorsports. I talked with Ryan. Um, he was super busy, so I couldn't get him on camera. Or I think he was just camera shy. We'll see if we can fix that in the future. But. Um, Got a little more details around the breather or a catch can and what's happening. So basically, if you guys, technical terms or maybe not so technical for some of you guys, because I know a lot of you guys know this stuff like the back of your hand and I'm just, again, I'm learning here. I know, I'm never gonna pretend like I know more than I do. I, I don't. So I learned some new stuff here today and hopefully I can uh, make sense of it and explain it to you guys. Um, although when Ryan told me he was in the middle of a dyno run and I was like, man, can I just get you on camera and re like restate that? Cause it would be perfect, but it made complete sense. But basically you're, you know, so if you guys don't know, I'm changing the bottom end on my car. So I'm for putting forge bottom in there. And with the setup, there'll be a little bit more of a gap between the cylinder wall and the piston. Now, there's already a gap on your stock car. And when that happens, when you start your car up, it's cold and basically it's called leak down or blow by. Um, that oil and whatnot and that blow by and pressure leaks down into the crankcase. And depending on your setup or what kind of pistons you're using, so in my instance, I'm going with um, a more malleable uh, aluminum alloy, so it actually expands a lot more, so when it's colder, it has bigger gaps in there. And so there's a lot more blow by or leak down per se. Uh, and if you've ever heard the term leak down testing, that's literally what they're testing. They're testing um, how much oil and blow by is getting past uh, your pistons. Um, but that creates, you know, that blow by and that pressure happening from your supercharger is that pressure also sneaks by. Uh, it gets past the pistons, it, it gets into the crankcase. And so what you're doing is we're putting a breather in a catch can to basically vent that pressure. Now, does that pressure build up? It builds up more so at cold start than it does at higher power but even then because you have so much pressure like you know so much psi of power happening um it's still getting through into there and so again you're letting it breathe now the other side is is you see guys we put catch cans you guys probably know i used to have a catch can on my car from mishimoto now those setups they run a very small diameter tubing and they still get quite a bit of oil and gas blow by and stuff like that into the catch can now depending on the car it's different because every car is broken in differently every car has different amounts of blow by etc that get picked up but the bigger diameter tubing you use the less oil gets through the line now 
if you have too much of a vacuum or your vacuum's super crazy high, that's when you can actually start sucking oil through the line. And that's something you have to be careful of. But overall, it, it's your the breather setup is gonna allow the crankcase to breathe with all the extra, um, the, the pressure and PSI on the cylinder heads and it will just be a better setup overall and not have problems and issues. So that's that. So if you guys have any additional questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I know Ryan from Cunningham Motorsports, he'll probably be able to respond or post comments down below. We've got Troy, Troy coming back. He just, if you heard a car, that was his beautiful, what, stage two Z28, uh, fifth gen, cruising by, sounded amazing. Um, it's over there. So, but if you guys have additional questions, um, you know, I can hit up Ryan. I'm sure Ryan's more than um, willing to come jump in and respond to questions or comments or issues. But keep in mind at the power levels that I'm gonna be at, you know, these kind of things come into play. Um, do I still believe in the Mishimoto catch can and stuff like that? Yeah, I think they do a good job and they keep oil and fuel mixtures from going back into your intake manifold. So in this instance, we're just breathing the crankcase because of all the extra, um, you know, cylinder head pressure that's being created from the force induction. And, uh, you know, and again, with the new pistons, the way that they're set up, they'll have a little bit more gap in between um, the cylinder wall and the piston while they're cool. So there will be a lot of pressure skimming by in the initial cold starts and, you know, as the car warms up. Now, from when I talk with Ryan, we're not gonna get to the level of piston slap territory. If you guys haven't heard of that, Google search it or check out on YouTube. Um, but their tolerances that they built with these new CP piston heads, there there really isn't that much. You know, it's not in the 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 four or the five range. It's like I believe their gap is it's like zero 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 one five or I don't know how many zeros are in there, but it's a pretty close tolerance, a lot closer than some of the other ones that I've read out there. Um, that you know, will cause or cars out there that can have piston slap. You usually see that a lot with super high end, like formula, crazy race cars, like, and those things just chatter because they're slapping so much. But yeah, that's, that's another video in another time. But yep, that's the video. So uh, new breather setup happening to the car. Again, my car is getting dropped off at Cunningham Motorsports um, this week and uh, I'm gonna be traveling, but when I come back, hopefully it's gonna be all done. So new fuel system, new piston rod setup. So I'll be fully forged on the bottom end and just have that peace of mind that it's gonna be able to take that much more just hammering. Um, and I do plan to get quarter mile uh, times. I know a lot of people have been harassing me about that. That will be the first thing I go do in the first weekend or weekday I'm available to go do that. And uh, definitely will bring my GoPro along with me and capture it all. And you guys can watch me be a noob and uh, kind of learn how to do quarter mile. I've only done a couple runs, not in this car. And uh, I'll just be honest, I'm, I'm not a professional uh, race car driver. So I got a lot to learn. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I'd much rather, I feel a lot more comfortable on a road course, um, but when it comes to quarter mile, and also there's a surprise that I have for the car that will make it even more ready for the drag strip. So um, yeah, we'll get into that down the road. So either or, thanks for joining me for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions, as always, comments below. Likes, comments, shares, always appreciated. And again, if you like the content, smash that subscribe button. Join the Lethal family here. Um, Lethal Garage swag. I did get new hats, fifth, sixth, and Lethal Garage style hats. They're all available in the store along with the shirts and hoodies and all that stuff. So, um, and also let me know if you guys are interested in swag and I don't make it or have it yet. Um, let me know what you're looking for. I am going to be getting, I'm going to get some Lethal Garage and Lethal Camaro um, tags coming. They're actually coming. I've ordered them. This is a ZL1 add-on one that I have, um, but I have those coming and I'm going to sell them a lot cheaper than everyone else is because again, I just would rather you guys have awesome stuff or at least stuff that you think is awesome. And I think is awesome if you so want it. So outside of that, thanks guys, as always for the support and until next time or next video, hope to see you on the road. So little known fact, and I can claim this because I've now sat in SS seats, ZL11 LE seats, SS1 LE seats, and uh, yeah, regular ZL1 seats, because I now have regular ZL1 seats in my car. And I will say the ZL1 seats vent better than the SS seats. And uh, there's a, I think this is an M3 in front of me. He wants some. He wants some. But yeah, there you go. Little known fact. Uh, I believe the ZL1 seats, because of the way that the pattern is compared to the SS, uh, the cool air actually vents better on the back. Now, I, I haven't noticed a difference on the butt, but on the lower back and even mid-back side, 
I could feel more cool air coming through. So there you go.